Hey guys, Steve here. Uh, today we're going to be going over progression strategies for new players. I just started a new account on my Xbox and we've started from scratch. Okay, so I've over the years come up with strategies and kind of communicated to them uh, intended for new players. But here we're going to kind of amalgamate them and put them together in one tight spot. So I want to look at Bureau uh, strategies. I want to look at Commander upgrade strategies and then overall Navy uh, composition strategy. So I think let's start with the Bureau first off because uh, this one's very easy to get uh, sidetracked. So to start off with you get the introduction to the Bureau. That's the only mission you can complete. Go ahead and activate it as soon as you can. When you get the game downloaded uh, it'll take a little while to complete. Go ahead and complete it at your own pace. You can play around with it and then after that we're going to have access to all these different ships. Now you're going to be saying to yourself, oh my god Yamato that sounds amazing. Oh Alaska that's a cool looking cruiser. I can't wait to get these ships. And that's not what we're going to be doing to start off with in the Bureau. In fact, what we want to do is pull up a project here and say to ourselves, ah, okay, well, what's going on here? Looking at a segment, how do we get progress in the Bureau? You can see if we start it. Oh, and first off, you can see, I want to point this out, every single project I turned on very briefly. You can see the progress at the bottom, 198 out of 1,700,000. That's because I briefly activated this project by doing this so it doesn't matter which ones you turn on and off go ahead and activate every single project in the game once you've uh, activated it and put just a couple points it'll never be able to leave your bureau okay once in a while they'll take bureau projects away and we don't want that to ever happen so i doubt they're going to take away the ship ones but something like legendary birthday this could very easily go away and you never know with the ship so just don't take any chances it takes two seconds to go through all of them uh, activate them like that but once we've done that, okay, well, then let's take a look at how these work. Okay, so we get very passive progress when it's active. Uh, it goes very slowly. It takes over about a week to get through a segment, it looks like, uh, which means progress is going to be very, very slow. How do we speed it up? Well, we need a level 4 Bill Halsey. We need a level 4 Willis Lee. Level 4 Eric Bay. We don't have any of those. All right, so right off the bat, we can't boost the Alaska in terms of their uh, commander base boosts and we got four opportunities to boost the progress in these four slots right here uh, Fleet okay. Well, we do have the Phoenix unlocked tier three American cruiser We could put that on there. That would give us three more points every second eh, Not a bad boost, but that's still only one quarter of the way here So we don't have a lot of options in terms of progress that way you Don't have any tier five ships to win a battle and get a nice boost uh, You can do each of these once per day if you want Furutaka we don't own that once again. We do have Phoenix so we could activate basically one, two out of, looks like seven potential boosts per day. So very slow progress. And this is level one on Alaska. Let's take a look down here. What do we need? Okay, well now we need a level 13 Bill Halsey, level 13 Norm Scott. We aren't going to have any of that anytime soon. Oh my God, tier six ships, not a chance. So we're not going to get the Alaska anytime soon. Why bother? Well, check this out. Segment one rewards. Norm Scott. Bingo. I want Norm Scott and I want him working for me. All right, he's an American light cruiser commander. The sooner we get him, the better. All right, because basically we're going to talk about how to get commanders uh, at the normal rate. You're going to get one per week. But if we're doing these bureau projects and if it takes roughly one week to get this uh, segment one completed, all right, well then we're doubling our progress. So we're going to go through each and every one of these. Not every single ship project has a commander on them, but most of them do. All right, here's one that just has promotion orders. Skip it. We don't need the Conqueror. We're not going to get it anytime soon. We don't need, we'll get the promotion orders sooner or later because we're going to be pursuing the Bureau in terms of collecting the resources until it makes sense to actually get, get the ships. Once we have higher level commanders, higher level navies, then we can go for the ships themselves. But until then, we're just going to be chipping away at these commanders, okay? So here's Gunther Luchens. All right, German uh, heavy cruiser commander and Kincaid, my God, American heavy cruiser. Perfect. We need him and we need him stat. All right, so we're pursuing those two. Once we get all these commanders, we'll just switch the projects uh, over to, oh, oh boy, no. Yes, we need him. French destroyers. All right, great. Oh, Willis Lee. Sure, why not? I'd rather get Bill Sims, but whatever. We got Bill Tennant there. And we're just going to go through all these guys. And it's going to speed up our overall progress. Okay, now how does this help? Well, commanders, uh, when you load in the game, we have the Deweys, we call them. We got George Dewey, generic commander. The build's kind of designed to provide an okay build to all three classes. Destroyers, 
cruisers, battleships, hell, even uh, carriers, maybe. Yep, looks like carriers as well. Uh, so he can work in a bind. But we're not going to promote him with resources, and we don't want him. We'd rather have Norm Scott, cruiser commander, for light cruisers. We'd rather have Bill Sims for the the battleships, Kincaid for the light or the heavy cruisers, and uh, Bill Halsey over here for the destroyers. So we're trying to get these guys. Uh, we can get one per week by going to the campaign missions, trials, every Sunday it resets. Today's Sunday that I'm filming this. Weekly boost. First you win a battle, not that big of a deal. Then you need to get 7,000 XP. Once you do that, boom, you get a commander crate every week just by playing the game. All right, so how are we going to operate this? Well, first week we got uh, Gunther Lunchens, all right? And you can see we promoted him a little bit. We got him. He started off level one like uh, Deutsche Dewey here, Reinhard Scheer. Uh, but we got him. He's a cruiser commander. Great. We'll play the German cruisers to start with. And initially I put him up to level six and then I'm like, okay, we got some promotion orders. We got the blue star commander XP resources available. Let's boost him to level seven. Cause when you go to level six, uh, you don't have an inspiration here. When you get it to level seven, you get your first one. And then the, you can see when you go from level 10 to level 11, you get the second inspiration. That's a little bit further down the line, but getting a first inspiration only cost uh, some blue stars, some commander XP to get to level 5, and then a little bit more commander XP and 5 promotion orders. Easy. We got 33 promotion orders. Now, we might be tempted to spend all of them. Here, we can get two more levels. Eh, not that big of a deal, though, because we want to save the resources we don't want to be spending willy-nilly. We're going to get another commander here after playing a few games, uh, and then we're going to see, okay, who do we got next? And we'll talk about how that applies to... Uh, pursuing our Navy expansion strategy, but in terms of just looking at the commanders, level seven's good to start them off with until we got plenty of commanders that can uh, pilot a bunch of different ships that'll keep us occupied and keep us having fun. So don't go crazy on promoting guys, and my god, any of these generics, I wouldn't put any points into any of them except for personally, I got uh, Nikolai von Essen, we call him Dimitri, doing the business. I like him as an inspiration, okay? We don't need to get into that right now. Uh, but because of that, I put him up to level six. And as the game goes on, we'll gradually promote him more and more. Uh, but I'm not going to use him as a, a commander. I want uh, these two guys for my destroyer lines. I want these two guys, Makarov and Kuznetsov, for the cruisers. And I want Kedrov for the battleships. Okay. So whenever we get those guys, then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll pursue those lines. And we'll take a look at how we're doing this right here. So we start off with tier one. And uh, I think you start off with two or three tier ones, but then you can go to the ships and just buy the tier one of all the nations. They're free. Uh, get them all unlocked. And then we go to the game screen. We played them all already. It takes one or two games uh, to get past the tier one ships. And then you can get all the tier two cruisers. Okay. And so we've got the Freant, the Bogotar, the uh, Caledon, the Toronto. These are all tier two cruisers. And we'll go ahead and play them in our leisures. We don't mind having low-level uh, generic commanders in those because the competition is pretty light down at the lower tiers and, you know, the ships themselves aren't that exacting anyways. Uh, but you can see we got Gunther Lunchens. Remember the German cruiser commander? He's the one we got for the first week. So we got their Tier 2 unlocked. We got the Tier 3, the Karlsruhe. Karl Ruhe. Oh, God, we almost started a battle. Uh, we ground through this, didn't take too many uh, games, maybe four or five games, whatever it was. Oh, by the way, we got the Kaiser, the Tier 3 German battleship. That line's ready to go now. We've got it unlocked, and it's in our port. Uh, but then we went ahead and unlocked the Konigsberg, the Tier 4. Excellent German uh, Tier 4 cruiser. You guys picked a rust bucket camo. Thank you very much. Uh, one of my favorite ships. <laughs> but you can see we played a few games in the Konigsberg, and then... Uh, now we're to the point, okay, we'll play a few more tonight, and then, okay, we'll get a new commander, and we'll, let's just say we'll pick one randomly. Okay, this time we get uh, Tanaka. Let's just say we unlock him tonight. Well, okay, he's a Japanese destroyer commander. Then I'm going to dabble in the Japanese destroyers for a week, and we'll go over here. You can see we've already unlocked it. We haven't played any yet, but we got the Wakitaki. Uh... Japanese Tier 2, play this for a few games. We'll get the Tier 3 Isikaze, the Tier 4 uh, Minikaze, or whatever the hell it is. Who knows? <laughs> you know, but we'll play the uh, the low-tier Japanese destroyers for a week. And then we'll mix in a few 
uh, German cruiser games while we're at it because we already got the guy unlocked here. So you can see every week we're going to add a new line to the game. Now let's say I get a commander uh, that I'm not all jazzed about. Like I, you guys, as new players, you won't necessarily know which commander you're really going to want to go for long term, which is another reason to not heavily promote them. But let's just say uh, I get Lev Galler. He's a Soviet battleship commander, but I don't want him... I don't want him to promote him as an inspiration, and I don't want to promote him as a Soviet battleship main. Well, still, you know, let's just see how many resources it takes to get up to level 6. Uh, 37,000 blue stars, not bad. You can see that's about a fifth of our resources left over after a week playing. We can afford to promote any of these guys to level 6. So if we get Lev Galler, we would put him up to level 6. We'd play the Russian-Soviet battleships for a week, you know, grind through the Tier 4, maybe the Tier, or the Tier 3, maybe the Tier 4. And then, you know, we would say, all right, we're done with Lev Galler, and we're just going to wait until we get Kedrov, right? But we already got some progress in the Soviet battleship line, and whenever we get around to getting Kedrov, or, by the way, if we get 900 uh, Commander XP, we can always go to the store here, and under the Commanders tab, you can see these 900 blue stars. Gradually, we're going to get those, and once we do that, we can target. Okay, man, I want Bill Sims for my American battleships. Boom, we'll get them. All right, Norm Scott, we haven't pulled him yet. Boom, we got him. So that's going to be easy. That's another way to get these commanders uh, if we're not getting the ones we want. So, you know, but we'll play with the low level lines. We'll boost all these commanders up just a little bit. You never know. Maybe you'll play the build and you'll be like, okay, that feels pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to work, but it works pretty well. I'm going to stick with that, and then maybe we're going to promote Lev Geller further down the line. Okay, so that'll be up to you. As you gain more experience, you're going to figure out what you like about these builds or what you don't like about them, and trying them all out at low levels will give you that experience, give you the opportunity to try that. Whereas if I put all my points into Lev Geller as soon as I unlock them, we put them up to level 12, level 14, whatever. Now we've spent all our resources, we get another guy, and we can't really try out the build, and we feel committed to the guy that we went with first anyways okay most people that you talk to about commanders they'll say whatever one that they happen to promote is the best build and they'll defend it to the grave okay but it's basically just the bite or defending their uh, decision and i fall into that category as well which is why starting a new account gives me an opportunity to try some of the builds i didn't try previously and not look like i'm uh, an idiot so anyway that's kind of my approach to the game as a newer player, quote unquote, okay? I got the experience, I got advanced upgrade strategies that I'm implementing, but I'm implementing them at the low levels where it's very easy for new players to make mistakes. You know, most players will have one of these Dewey guys that they have super high level. Almost every player that you talk to has a max George Dewey that they don't use on any ship or it's never an inspiration. So don't fall into that pit uh, to stick with low level uh, promotions, maybe level 7 is a good way to start. Once you get a bunch of commanders to level 7, maybe bring them up to level 11 and go from there. By then you'll start to understand a little bit more about the commander system. So that's my approach. Hopefully it helps you guys out as new players or even uh, more experienced players. Hopefully that will give you some new ways to think about the game and the progression. Uh, but that will do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up. Hey, new to the channel, consider subscribing. We've got lots of World of Warships coming for you guys, and that's coming all the time. Questions, comments, did I miss anything? You guys let me know if you got other strategies that you think would help new players out. Put them in the comments section so they can check that out. And we'll see you all later. Hey, peace.